Hey guys, good morning. Today is Saturday, August 13th. Today I'm chasing the cold water. I am up at the upper Delaware on the West Branch and the water is cold. It is in the uh, upper 50s. I um, haven't been up here for three years. Kind of have a love-hate relationship with the Delaware. Come up here half the time, I do great. The other half the time, I get skunked. I really don't know what to expect today because it must have rained overnight because the river is muddy. Um, so I do have a New York license plate. I am going to fish. I'm at the game lands uh, at the Pennsylvania side. Right for now, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to fish here for a couple hours and then I'm going to head up. New York I'm sure the water's clear up there uh, closer to closer to the reservoir and uh, they say they're having some midday hatches up there so give it a try here for a uh, few hours and then I'll head up north more I think I'm gonna start out with a streamer though because unless I see some fish rising or a hatch come off but like I said it's pretty muddy right now so um, I'll scan out here for you I know you can't see the muddiness of the water but um, the water, you know what, I don't care what the water looks like, it's beautiful to be out here. And, um, it's only 70 degrees up here. Back home it was 77, 78 degrees. Uh, they're looking for scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon today, so, I uh, just kind of hoping and praying that everything works out today and I get some good footage for you and I catch some fish. So, um, hang on, let's see what we got. Thanks. Okay, guys, I had to leave Pennsylvania. Water was too high and just chocolatey. Just threw a streamer down there for about an hour. Difficult to wade. Didn't really know the stream down there that well. Um, more difficult when it's high and muddy. So I kept following the river upstream. I'm up in Deposit, New York came above where a big feeder stream comes in that was bringing in a ton of the muddy water so I got above that and I got clear water now um, I'm at the in in deposit New York I'm at the Laurel Hill fishing access site so there's a railroad track here that's going to give me some access and go down there's a little island down there and some riffles hopefully throw a streamer for a little bit but I would like to get to some nymphing um, a couple of the fly shops up here said the hatches don't really start till around 11, 12 o'clock, so I got time on my side. Might as well just explore a little DIY, do-it-yourself stuff, so let's see how we make out. Stay tuned. Okay, got my first fish on the West Branch. Oh, I've been here for hours. It's like 12 o'clock. I've been here since 6 a.m., and there's teeny tiny sulfurs coming off about a size 20 22 put one on first cast got them so let's see what the west branch is going to deliver up to me cold cold water oh this water is so cold a nice fish feels nice at least i'm using 5x I just tied these uh, sulfurs up last night. Ooh, nice big rainbow. Is it rainbow? Uh, no, not the brownie. Nice brownie. Good, 13, 14 inches, 14 inches. Real nice. Beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous. Serious teeth. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back on. Nice one. Okay. Got a real nice one on a slate drake. Um, a good one. Looks like he's about 17 inches. 
Real nice fish. Man, they are fat up here and they fight. I'm using 5X. Wow, we nice fish. Get him up here, get him up here. His head up here. Okay, good lord, look at the size of that fish. Wow, he might even go 18 inches. Shoo wee! Big fish. Caught that on a size 10 Isonicia Slight Drake. Okay. I got a really nice fish on, and I really thought it was a dinker at first the way it was rising I caught him like a foot from this bank over here <laughs> and it surprised the hell out of me how big it was the fish today have been few and far between even the hits These fish up in the upper Delaware. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That has got to be 18 to 20 inches. And I, I can't believe I thought it was a dinker. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get this big boy in here. Big, big brownie. Oh my God. I caught it on a granum caddis. I seen a few dead ones floating down. So I put one on. Big dark caddis. Oh boy. I know you guys can't see good because it's in the glare. But this boy is monstrous, so I don't want to lose him. Ugh. I'm walking him down a little. Come on, fishy, fishy. Oh, boy, these fish fight. Plus, they got the current up here on the Delaware. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at how big that brownie is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Every bit of 20 plus inches. That's got to be a four or five pound trout. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got my fly all the way down his throat. Whoo-wee. Okay, gotta get him out. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna release this boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, at least 20 inches. Oh my god. <sighs> Thank god the water is ice cold up here. Because I didn't like playing that thing that long, but boy, I had to. He was big. Okay, see if I can get one or two more before I leave. Okay, guys. Well, that's the end of the day for me. Um, I only landed three fish all day. I missed about a half a dozen other fish. 
and all of the all of them were on top I didn't get a single hit underneath all day nothing that I could ever call a hit um, I started out in Pennsylvania down in the game lands um, too muddy high uh, so I had to come up above where the mud was coming in from this creek up in deposit so I had to come above it but coming up this high the water was so much colder um, so I started I I'm in deposit I've been in deposit since like 8 o'clock 8 30 in the morning and I started out downstream about <clears throat> maybe half a mile fished there for hours didn't get anything didn't see any rising fish um, so then I was going to leave and go down to Hancock and um, I stopped at the bridge at the pause and looked over the bridge and there was fish rising so I parked the truck and um, started the fish first cast in I caught one on the sulfur then several hours later a couple missed fish later um, I got one on a slate drake and each fish got bigger all three fish each one got bigger the first one was about 14 inches second one was about 17 18 and um, then this last one I got on a granum caddis just a real dark caddis but big about a size um, 12 and um, there were a couple dead ones floating down right up against the shoreline maybe a foot two foot off the shoreline I thought it was a dinker and I got this massive brownie a good 20 inches good probably four pounds man it was fat every fish up here is fat and fights great so that's my day up here a long drive but i would say it was worth it i have a love-hate relationship with this stream and it still goes on <laughs> so um i'm actually shivering right now it is this water is so cold oh god is it cold um so I'm going to get in the truck, get warmed up, get something to eat, and go home. Thanks for watching. See ya.